Greetings, salutations, and welcome to After Action. I'm your host, Patrick Krieger, and I'm joined once again by Matt. What's going on? Now, today's episode is going to be a bit better than yesterday's, as we got to start at a reasonable hour. Indeed. <laughs> we are up and at em, as they say. Yeah, so again, we do recommend Death Wish, just oh, so you guys know. Dude. Oh, yeah. But today's movie is Shockma. Shockma! So, watch, don't watch. Um, uh, or watch with friends slash party or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that is a third option. How do I feel about this? I think it's a definite watch with friends, not necessarily alone. All right, I would agree with you. It is a watch with friends. It is a party sort of movie. Exactly. It is. It is one of those movies that's so bad it's good. But yeah. you have to watch with friends. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time kind of watching this movie. Yes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I so, don't want to give the plot away well, yet. We're, we're, we have to read the uh, the back of the box description. Now, um, full uh, full thing. We weren't able to track down a copy of Shockma. We, uh, disclosure? Ha- full disclosure? Yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm looking <laughs> full for. Full thing. Why, why, why thank you, Virgil? <laughs> um, Carl! Not even the right reference. I don't care. I wanted it. To... Virgil, there's a Virgil in uh, uh, Walking Dead. Oh, okay. Well, I was referencing my favorite movie of all time, Chris. You know what it is. Anyway, so we we watched Shockma. Uh, wow, it has a five out of ten on IMDb. Wow, that's good. Yeah, and ninety two percent of people who've watched it said they liked it. I mean, it's. Not the best movie, but it's definitely got more production value than other movies that for, we've seen. For oh no, no, it doesn't. Um, well, okay, than other movies. No, better acting, way better acting. Better acting, yes. Production values, no. Um, I'm gonna read the back of the box. Read it. Students are trapped with a testy baboon while playing a fantasy game in a research building. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that, that's your that's your context. Yeah. For. Uh, this uh, cinematic excellence. Yeah, that is is a trip. So uh, this is actually a movie where spoilers do matter. Most of the films we watch, you can tell what's coming a mile away, but this one, this one actually uh, does some things. So if you have, if you think you're interested in this film, go watch it with friends. Ignore what we're about to say. You know, like just just go watch it with your buddies because it is worth watching with your buddies. But, for those of you... Or, if you're a female, you're gal pals. <laughs> you're not being too inclusive. No, no. That is something I fail at. <laughs> you know, uh, actually, on that subject, I, there hasn't been a uh, woman on After Action yet. Wasn't uh, Steven's girlfriend on there? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Lizzie Liz, was on. yeah. Yeah, Lissy was on. Okay, so never mind. There we are. You uh, you actually watched that. Yeah, of course. Come on, guy. All right. So, <laughs> um, well, YouTube's telling me it has zero views. Well, YouTube's a dirty liar. When it comes to this, when it comes to this, yes, yes, indeed they are. So, spoilers from uh, here out. Shockma. Uh, how I sold it to Matt was Matt's like, hey, man. Well, okay. Start off the evening. I told Matt, hey, you know, we watched a real movie last time. We watched Death Wish. I I, I want my monster flicks. So I suggested um, uh, Chupacabra versus the Alamo. Yeah, and I wasn't too hot on that. I suggested Blood Monkey. Yeah, I was like, "Ah, I kind of want to stay away from monkeys tonight. Yeah, and you're like, I want something that's really scary. Yeah, like maybe some Sasquatch, maybe some Bigfoot kind of thing, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. There aren't too many of those films, though. Apparently. And uh, we settled on this. And Tell them about the trailer. So, the trailer... <laughs> yeah, that's how I sold it to you, as I showed you the trailer, and you're like, okay, we can watch this. Yeah, the trailer um, is very animated, with uh, the uh, the narrator just just going 10 out of 10 on, on his... In, uh, inflection or uh whatever uh would you say it was shocking oh my god yeah he says it in the in the trailer and you know it's a shock month or whatever shocking audiences around yeah, the country exactly now, i actually don't know if this film got a theatrical release if it did i'd be shocked hmm. 
Uh, needless to say, that pun is going to be made a hundred times this episode. Uh, doubt it. Ooh, snap. You underestimate my ability to pun. Yeah, well, you know. <clears throat> so, yes. We, uh... I showed Matt the trailer. I had never seen the trailer before, either. It's pretty good. It was, it was good, and, uh... It was basically a baboon, a, ba- a baboon, just wreaking havoc inside what seemed to be some sort of building, se- you know, semi-hospital related. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it was corny. It was cheesy, and I, I said, send it. So I, I unfortunately did not have a copy of this movie on hand. We, uh, found... <laughs> what? So we had to watch it on YouTube, which <laughs> coincidentally had the worst, you know, uh, compression, you know, rate on there, as well as Spanish subtitles, which yes. kept it interesting. It did. And I highly recommend you watch the same copy. <laughs> Go onto YouTube, search Chakma, and watch the one with the Spanish subtitles. <laughs> There were two versions on there. One of them appeared to be entirely in Spanish. Yeah. And then the other had uh, Spanish subtitles. So let's set up our premise a little bit. There's um, a medical school of some sort. I don't know if it's a veterinary school or if it's just a medical school. They call they it a polytechnic. A, they have a lot of animals in there. They have a lot of animals. They're definitely doing animal testing. Yeah. Uh, regardless of what else they're yeah, doing. Yeah, they might be uh, like uh, contracted by like pharmaceutical companies to run drug trials on animals. Well, that's possible. You that's know, to probable. see if they're you know good on certain mammals and then move on to rats and then humans. Indeed. And so there's this whole setup that they're going to be playing this Dungeons and Dragons like board game later that night. But like more role playing than uh, like board game kind of. Like it's 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 a full on quest throughout the hosp- the the building. Yeah, well, that's what was the thing is that they were converting a Dungeons and Dragons type game to play through the whole building. Yeah, yeah. This was the first time they were doing this. They set up sensors all throughout the uh, the the building. Uh, they turned five, off the fire alarm. <laughs> five floors, five people, five ghosts. Uh, that's a callback reference. Um. So yeah, they 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 turned off the fire alarm because. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. But anyway, so the, the precept or the setup for this is that they're in this building. Um, they're going about their daily events, winding up to play this game later this night. So we're introduced to all of our characters. There's Sir Daniel, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, there's our lead, um, the Blonde dude. McDenim dude. Blonde McDenim dude, yep. There's a girl who's going to play the princess who looks like she's like 10, but is actually 22. Yep. There is love interest. Yeah. Yeah. There is douchebag jock guy. I wouldn't call him as jock, but yeah, he's a douchebag. Yeah. Sure he's straight up doucher. There's the scientist in charge of everything. Yep. There's generic black guy. Yep. It's not really explained what he's He's got a very about. small role and... Uh, Critical role. Critically dead role. Ooh. He doesn't do too much. Well, he does a couple important things. And then there's the girlfriend. Well, there's only like six people, so everyone does a pretty significant thing. But significantly, I don't think really sig- they could have gone the same result without him. But there were two uh, significant, or there were two girlfriends. A, the girlfriend of the black guy who never shows up again. And the girlfriend of the douchebag. Who drives off. Well, yeah, she's important later in the film. So... They, they go about and they're injecting uh, hormones into uh, Shockma's brain. You don't actually see that it's Shockma at first. They're just, uh, they've cut open something. I don't even think they make it clear that they're cutting open a skull. And they inject some chemicals into it. Then they seal it up. And then for whatever reason, this baboon gets kind of escapes, half escapes. So they inject it with some medicine to calm it down. Yeah, and then it becomes like, you know, sedated more or less. And then the head doctor guy was like, all right, how much do you give him? Oh, 50 milligrams. All right, give him another 200. He said 20. <laughs> no, it was 200. No, no, he said 20 at first and then it was oh, 200. okay. We need to get these points dead on. Oh. But yeah, he, he also made the comment about it being a waste of research, years of research. Why? 
Like, oh, wouldn't, couldn't they just wait for it to wake up? What do you mean? No, it, it already had the, I mean, permanent. I, I guess we have to assume that the, the, the surgery they, they did or whatever they injected Shockma with is... Ruined this experiment? It, it, well, it's like a permanent result. Oh, so okay. it's going to be permanently super aggressive. Um, it's Then why did they do it? Because they said most out of... Uh, most times they inject the animals or whatever, they become less uh, aggressive. Yeah. And so that's what they're going for. But sometimes it does have the opposite effect. As it did in Shockma's case. Indeed. So he's told to euthanize Shockma and he doesn't. Now, does he purposely mess up the ma medicine or accidentally? No, he... he uh... Does he purposely not give Shockma the right medicine, or does he mess up? Well, I couldn't read it, so I, I don't know <laughs> what he gave him, and then what the other dude gave him. It might have just been more of the same. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Well, more, more or okay, then maybe different stuff. Oh, more of the uh, the, the, the hormones. The hormone that yeah. made it upset. Yeah, the copy we were watching wasn't very clear. Yeah, we so. couldn't read anything. Yeah. So, anyway, point is, yeah. uh, Shockma gets injected. Uh, Freaks out, escapes. No, not first. Not not yet. They gotta set up the game first, man. I thought that was already understood. Mm. So they set up the game. The sister of the jock is the princess. And she gets dressed up in this fairy tale outfit that we were joking, like, she just had on hand. Yeah, it's, it's very elaborate. Yeah. Just... Like, okay, you know, this is she's just the, the only one that dressed up. She was the only one that dressed up. Yeah. Now, here's one of the interesting kind of sticking points. The jock tells his lady friend, like, hey, I gotta go play this game. Well, no, I think he sells it at something like, hey, I gotta work late. You know, with the doctor, like, in initially. Yeah. And then, like, they, they meet up with everybody, him and his girlfriend. And they're like, yeah, man, you stuck for the game tonight? And then she's like, what game? And he goes, uh, <laughs> and it gets found out. And oh. then the, the, the friends are just like, yeah, it's this totally cool game. We're going to just walk around the hospital trying to find clues and eventually, you know, whatever. Find the princess. Yeah, sure. And she's like, you're going to leave me for a game? And this whole time I'm like, you that guys are like the high school age, you know, you guys look high school age. So it makes sense to have this dialogue. But... You're supposed to be, like, in your 20s, 30s. Like, we don't know how old these people actually looked because we couldn't tell what they looked like. Half the time, the the girl in the uh, the princess outfit, that I get the impression, based on the outfit they put her in and what she's supposed to be, she's supposed to be, like, really pretty but, like, kind of jail baby. Yes. Like, that's the impression you get. She looks like a goblin half the times yeah. because of how bad the, the uh, compression was. Yeah. So... Yeah, we, we don't have a good idea of really how much they looked like or what they looked like. <laughs> yeah. Um, where were we going with that? Uh, but, you know, well, so well, they, they are telling them about the game and she's like, are you kidding me? Blah, blah, blah. And then uh, he's like, don't worry. It's going to only be like three hours. Come back in like three hours tops. And I'm like, the whole... He, he he initially the jock guy uh wanted to play this game wasn't invited so he had to ask uh the head doctor guy to you know for an invite essentially and um this was earlier in the day while they were all working and he was like come on come on please come on i really want to do this blah 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 and eventually the you know head doctor's like yeah yeah, yeah no problem and uh, so he puts all this effort in trying to get invited and accepted into the game only to be like, babe, it's only gonna be like three hours. Just come back in three hours. I'm going to try to make this, you know, a really short game. And he legitimately tries to make it a short yeah. game and he's trying to get out. And I'm like, you wasted all this effort to get into the game just so you can leave. Like this doesn't yeah. track. He was also being a douchebag to the doctor. And like the argument he was using for why he wanted to be part of the game is to like impress the doctor. And then, like, he's a douchebag to the doctor. Yeah. Like, I really didn't get that at all. No, it was it was uh, lazy writing, as uh, Crowder would say. Ooh. So, um... 
Anyway, the point was that this was a, a uh, that was the setup. Shockma then gets loose, starts running around the, the building, eats Sir Daniel, mm-hmm. rips out his throat. Oh, yeah. And then our jock character, uh, who's now playing the villain in the game, uh, uh, Ven- Nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah. Now, mind you, all these people have trackers on them and have walkie-talkies. Which is pretty cool. Which is kind of cool. And they keep saying, you know, over and over and out and all that jazz. And um, so the, the, the douchebag finds out that the guy's throat's been ripped out, finds Shakma. Shakma chases him into some sort of supply closet. Mm-hmm. And then the guy just puts hydrochloric acid in a flask. It's like, I'm going to go fight him. Yeah, with hydrochloric acid and a mask on my head. Like, he kept having the yeah, mask on his head. Yeah, he had a mask for the game on his head. And he had it pulled up, you know, so that he could see, but, like... Why was he still wearing it, Matt? Exactly. Explain this. I don't know. Explain it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, he goes out there with his little, like, beaker of hydrochloric acid and instantly gets eaten by Shockman. Like, mm-hmm. like <laughs> Yeah, and not, and not only that, he spills the hydrochloric acid all over his face. So, no. when they, you know, eventually someone else comes back over... And after, he's not only, like, eaten up a little bit, you know, by Shakma, he's, like, rotting away. Yeah, he's, like, dissolving. Yeah. And so that's another kind of funny thing. And so, like, eventually the, you know, the doctor stops getting uh, responses from um, the, the, Sir can, Daniel. Yeah. Who turned out, grew up to become a doctor. Like, this is his one and only film he was ever in. Well, he was very pedo. Oh, God. We didn't talk about how sexual he was with he everyone. Was, so sexual the most seductive speaker in the world with the doctor with his friends yeah, with, everyone with with males with females with friends with co-workers with brothers and sisters just anyone and everyone he was seducing or attempting to didn't work on shakma it did not work on shakma so uh we're now two characters down and we're like wow okay so we're taking bets as to like you know who's gonna survive. At this point, I'm thinking it's love interest, main dude, and the girl, uh, the young girl, yeah, princess. Because like I mean, movie, you know, yeah, it's gonna you know they gotta have like the love interest, the main guy, and then you know we're thinking oh you know the younger kind of princess chick. Oh yeah, totally. Because they keep making a point of how young she is, uh-huh. and you're like well, okay, you know that makes sense, and she's like. You know, clearly supposed to be the pretty one in the film, so like that normally also secures you some <laughs> some safety. Aesthetics over everything. And the only other remaining character was the black guy, and this is an early horror film, so we know how that ends up. Always. So, anyway, Shockma kills these two people. the uh, The doctor goes, and the doctor checks on uh, checks on the guy with the hydrochloric acid, touches him, and there's like a sizzling sound. Which I guess was just the guy's face, not the guy's chest, when he touches the guy's chest. So he gets blood on his fingertips. Yeah. And then smears it on his own chest. His white shirt. And on his face. Yep, on his white face. And then gets eaten by Shakma. Just eaten. Yeah. And at this point, we're like, okay, so the only one left to die is the black guy. Out of the people that we don't, you know. That are left. That are left. And we also saw him die in the trailer. Yes. So we knew that was coming on. And there's like this whole thing about, you know, they got to trap Shockma on the fifth floor because that's where Shockma is. Yeah. So they're like, all right, we got to like block off the elevators, got to block off the doors to the, you know, the stairs. And they're doing a bunch of like decoy action and stuff. And yeah, they inter- really, really started working together. The interplay between uh, our hero and love interest is uh, really kind of cool the way they work together to kind of like trick Shockma and fight Shockma and they do this whole stupid thing with a flashlight that goes nowhere. Yeah, it was like this shoots like three, like a hundred lumens, and in 1990, a hundred lumens I guess was a lot because it was like shoot him, shoot, shoot him, shoot him. It was like boom. It was like a like a small flash. It was it was like a like a like a gunshot flash, and huh. that was it. And it was for that amount of duration. And it did nothing. Like, Chakra was like, all right, what are, okay. now, what are you guys doing? I'm going to proceed to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so they fight Chakma for a while. 
And the uh, there, there's a point to this, which is the the black guy, love interest, and our lead have each bet five hundred dollars that they would win. Yeah. And so the black guy is thinking this is all an elaborate trick. And he's going to win that money because, for one, he doesn't have the $500 to put up. Yeah, so he's like, all right, I got to win this so that I don't lose $500. Yeah. It's not even about the winning at that point. He's like, I'm just trying not to lose it all. Yeah. Lose money I don't have. Um, Well, good thing he doesn't, you know. Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah, he he, he wins in that aspect. (laughs) So, yeah, uh, he gets munched on. And uh, love interest finds him, and uh, our lead starts making a morgue out of all the bodies. Mm-hmm. And they are like, "Well, we got to go rescue the princess." Yep, because she is, you know, in Just, the building. Yeah, and doesn't know what's going on. But they forgot about her for the longest time. We didn't see her since like the beginning of the like the game starting, and it's like an hour of game, yeah. and then we're like, "Oh yeah, the princess." <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw her back into the film. <laughs> and it's funny because like she was so clearly in love with our, our lead. Oh yeah, she was she was saying like, oh the lead's name was Sam. Oh Sam, you know, look at me now, you know, all this that. And uh just kind of swooning over him while looking at herself in the mirror, you know, getting ready, being, you know, getting dressed as the princess or whatever. And uh Yeah, there's definitely that point being made. Yeah. And so he goes up. Sam goes up and uh, tells her what's going on, and she goes, oh, okay, you know, here, take a knife. And we're like, finally, someone with brains. Yeah, the whole time, no one had any sort of self-defense object, weapon, shield, nothing. Yeah, they didn't didn't grab... It was just the hydrochloric acid guy. Yeah, he was the only one that thought, like, well, okay, they, they do try to do the stupid light thing. But like, well, they have the light thing, but that's like, oh, it'll blind them temporarily. And it to what end? Yeah, they've already established that they have these like spears with that they can put uh, needles on. Yeah, like they've established that that's a thing that exists. So I don't know. It's just really weird that no one was like, at the very least, the guy should have kept his shirt on, you know, for a little bit of coverage of his. Uh, yeah, he his took skin. His, he took his button off, button up, uh, long sleeve off, and. Was just wearing like a white t-shirt. Wow. Oh, so that was really weird that he didn't do much of that. He also didn't tell the princess that her brother was dead. Well, I mean, in a, this kind of situation, you kind of just want to get safe before you tell her that her brother's dead. Yeah, except that comes back to bite him. Oh, you're so funny. I was not trying to make a joke at that point. Oh, it was funny to me. Oh, well, thank you. Because shock my beta. Yeah. yeah. How shocking. Oh. So I'm going to keep going. It was like three, three times, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, they, they, send, uh, they send down the woman to go and find the black guy who they don't know is dead. Yeah, the, the love, love interest. interest. And then she goes, tries to find him, and then what happens? Well, so she finds, uh, she does find him. And then sees him get eaten, and that's how Shockman gets off of floor five. Oh, that's the, right. Yeah, he the black guy came down the elevator or up the elevator. Yeah, to a, um, I guess level five. Yeah, it, what he did was she said, "Don't go to level five. Go to level six. Exactly. He had already pressed level five. Yep. And so, so then she had to go. He pressed level six. Yeah. The doors open on level five. Shockman comes in. Elevator car is already going to level six. Drops him off right in front of the girl chases the girl into the bathroom and we're like oh okay she's gonna get through the air vent yeah and, and then, then doesn't. doesn't and then gets destroyed oh man it's brutal yeah. it goes on for like two minutes yeah and like all you see is like the outside stall and then like there's a like it's like loud and it's the you know it's shock mode like you know screeching and doing his like attack thing and then you see her arm and you're like oh my god she made it she must have killed Shockma. And then you see her crawling into the air duct and then air air vent and then gets pulled back down. And then more noises and then (coughs) silence. (coughs) So Yeah. That was gratuitous. Oh yeah, that was actually the the harshest kill in the game in the in the game. Uh the movie. I would actually even argue that that's the um best kill 
in oh, yeah. any of the movies we've seen so Most far. Most theatric. Yeah, not Everything only... Everything else is just like you know shaking them on not only is it the most theatrical but they actually made us care about this woman oh yeah 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 they was... made us like be surprised mm -hmm. i felt bad that she died yeah yeah it was definitely uh they didn't i didn't see this coming at all and the fact that they killed her off was very 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 fresh yeah, but then I'm like, okay, it makes sense because now, now uh, it's, the main yeah. character can end up with a princess, princess. and there's a happy ending. Exactly. And in pre uh, earlier in the movie, they established that uh, Sam and uh, love interest uh, were like currently dating. They uh, had sex in some office or room of some sort um, right before the game started. Mm. Or during the game, did it was it when that was just, during the yeah, game? Yeah, when they met up because yeah. everyone take you know splits off in the beginning, and then he met up with her uh, at some point and was like, "Hey, we don't have to keep playing." <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they just have sex in one of the rooms, and then they just start working together. Yeah. Well, um, so she dies, and eventually our lead goes to find her, the princess. No, our lead goes to find her. Oh, oh Because he's already right. with the princess. That's right, that's and the, right. And the princess is trying to get um, the attention of the jerk's boyfriend. Or sis, uh, girlfriend. Remember? She's like throwing stuff at her, trying to get her attention. Oh, she's, yeah, she's at a window and she's trying to get the jock's girlfriend's attention who's sitting in the car listening to uh, very classic 80s music and... Uh, just jamming out and you see occasionally like she's like looking forward in her car and you see like forks you know yeah. fly by the window you see like pebbles and just miscellaneous knives and she's just launching just whatever she can get through this like little ventilated window kind of cover which i don't know how she couldn't break but yeah i'm like what well, it looked like it was glass i don't know why she didn't smash it yeah the... you know why she didn't smash it mm -hmm. it's probably a real window oh and they probably were like uh yeah we're not gonna yeah. do that props and stuff um but yeah so she was just failing miserably until she figured oh yeah let me get a flashlight <laughs> yeah and the uh the uh what do you call it the girlfriend notices the girlfriend and notices and drives off yep and it's just like fuck you this game's stupid so we're like okay they're gonna have to like kill shockma or tie shockma up and then they're gonna have to call the cops yep at this point, Matt and I are saying two things. One, they sure as hell better, uh, like, kind of keep Shockma alive, or they're going to get accused of murder. Exactly. And two, why don't they just find a room with, a, like, a sink, you know, so they got some running water, lock themselves in, and we'll wait till Monday. Yeah, they, uh... It's Friday night. Yeah. They can wait till Monday. And, and also, a common thing we were saying was they kept asking, or saying, oh, we got to call security. We got to call security. Yeah. Not the police security as you know the security are usually the best forces against evil in any sort of movie yeah never call the cops just call your security first yeah yeah that was kind of funny so he goes uh our main lead goes to find um our, our lead goes to find his lady love and leaves the princess alone <laughs> I, was gonna <laughs> I was gonna call her the prepubescent princess we don't know that. Again, the woman who the actress playing her was twenty two at the time, yeah. but she did look like she was ten. She she yeah. I mean, it might have been the you know the quality of the. Video it was totally the quality also, of the film, but she just she gave off very youthful vibes as well. Again, I think that's what they were shooting for. Is I I think they were shooting for a jailbaity sort of figure who wasn't actual jailbait. Yeah, like eighteen, nineteen, yeah. you know, fresh out of high school or whatever. Well. It's, you know, whereas all these guys are uh, med school, students. med school, so you know, early twenties, mid twenties, somewhere around there. So he goes off to find his lady love, and he finds her, and I'm like, oh, she might still be alive. Maybe this is the one that he gets to save. Yeah, because they keep checking people, and I'm like, that's kind of cool that they're checking the people because maybe one of them's alive. And they're gonna get to use their med school things to like patch them up, and no, he slow walks out of the the girl's bathroom holding her in his hands and oh, just man. slow walks just like gr well, after having a good cry and yeah. uh and just, taking her bracelet and taking her bracelet and um he just it was 
<laughs> it was kind of like, all right, you're going pretty slow, and this is a really long scene. <laughs> well, they were trying but, to pad for time a little bit, I think. Yeah. But they were also trying to get it across, because we actually, like I said, felt for this woman. And so... He was this, devastated. Yeah, and it made it very clear that she was dead. The other thing that I thought was funny is, like, so he takes her bracelet. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, now he's really going to be convicted of this. Oh, yeah. Because they're going to, like, at that point, I'm like, oh, no, no one's making it out of this. He's going to put that thing in his pocket. The police are going to come. And he's going to say this crazy baboon. And they're like, yeah, yeah, likely story. The guy with bloody knife and this girl's bracelet. Yeah. You know, like, I'm like, oh, it's going to be, like, totally, um, what was that, Dawn of the Dead? Night of the Dead. Night of the Living Dead? I don't know. Um, yeah, Night of the Living Dead. I don't where, think I saw it. Oh, it's a, you know, it's a famous zombie film. But anyway, spoiler alert for that film, everybody dies. The There's this guy you're rooting for for the whole film, and he survives the Night of the Living Dead, and goes outside in the next day after fighting off all the zombies, and a group of zombies hunters just come by and shoot him. Because they think he's a zombie. So... Anyway, that's kind of what I was expecting is like the cops to arrive just in time to like either kill or capture our protagonist. At which point I'm like, oh God, the princess is going to die. No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. She's just a young girl. That's then, where you're wrong, kiddo. Mm. So she writes a note saying she's going to go look for her brother. Yes. Who's Big dead. mistake. She goes and she looks for her brother. She finds her brother. She finds her brother. She's armed. She is armed. She dies. She she easily dies. Now, an interesting thing, too, is with the uh, women kills. Women kills. Um, they don't show those on camera in graphic detail like they do the others. No. Um, which is nice. I don't like that. You know, I mean, in films. I don't know. Personal preferences. I guess. I mean, who knows? So, our lead finds the princess dead and does a... Another slow, slow walk. walk. With holding her, and now this is three people he slowed walk. He's, he's you know, had the love interest, and then he put her, like, in a corner, lined up against the wall, right next to the elevator. Then he takes the black guy and puts him on the other side of the elevator. And then he gets her, and I don't know where he put her. But it wasn't next to the elevator with the other three or the other two, because then you're just, yeah. you're stacking bodies for no reason. Yeah, and he doesn't move the other two guys yeah, at all. Yeah, doesn't touch them, uh, uh, the jock or uh, it makes, the, the pervy guy. It makes sense with the, the, the douchebag jock guy, because like he's covered in acid, you don't want to go near that. Yeah. But the, the perv, uh, he, they seem to be good friends. Like Yeah, they were having a good time before the, you know, before the game started, they were setting everything up or whatever. Very, very weird. Very weird. So he finally calls the cops. Yeah. Finally. He, like, he find he gets, he gets, he, now he has the keys. He, uh, calls the cops. And then doesn't talk to them. He's like, I gotta take Shakma on myself. Yeah, what? And he finally gears up to fight Shakma. Yeah. He puts, like, uh, gauze all over his arms. So, like, you know, he doesn't get clawed up. He gets his spear out with some poison. He puts a knife in his belt loop. Yeah. For reasons, and he's got his flashlight, and he's gonna go fight Shockma. Fight Shockma. And he does, and he stabs Shockma. Yeah, and then he Shockma proceeds to get off of him, and then just sit and look at him and like he, as if nothing had happened. And he screams at him. Oh yeah, because you know he won. Like oh. he, he knew it. Shockma knew it. He won. So Shockma leaves. So the guy starts setting up a trap. Yeah, he's like, all right, I gotta kill this thing. He finds the the rat who attacks rabid feminists. Oh yeah, that was a point you made earlier. That was awesome. And he um, he uses his rat buddy as friends as or sorry as bait. His rat buddy is friends. His only <laughs> friend that's alive is this rat, and he has acknowledged that, and you know he's he's made peace with that fact. And so he uses the rat as bait and shocks Shakma. It was shocking. It was shocking. <laughs> and uh, at this point, we think Shakma's dead. Shakma's not dead. Shakma's never dead. And they end up fighting. Blood. I think that's actually where the stabbing takes place, to be honest. Yeah. Is after the trap. 
No, 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 because he he was on him and then he stabbed him. Yeah. And then he uh, went, no, went, uh, and that's when he yelled at him and that's when he set up the trap. Oh, okay. I thought it was the other way around. Because he was, he was messed up, you know, at that, after, at that point. And then that's why he was like, like limping into that oh, room yeah. where he saw the, uh, the uh, uh, mirror. Yeah. And so he sets up a mirror trap that's pretty obviously telegraphed and Shockma attacks. It's like that scene from Jurassic Park, except earlier. Except earlier. Wow, Jurassic Park ripped off Shockma. Yeah. Jurassic Park ripped off Shockma. We're, we're calling it here. We're, we're, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Nothing but frauds and, you know, ex-hoodlums. <laughs> so, uh, Shockma <laughs> breaks the mirror, ends up in the uh, incinerator. He closes it, and Matt brings up a really good point. Oh, uh, so he looks at, at, at first he notices the incinerator, uh, the uh, incinerator. Um, crematorium. Crem yeah, crematorium. Um, the burn factory. Um, he first notices that um, when he's setting up the trap, and that's why he was like, all right, I'm going to set this trap up, blah, 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 make the monkey, you know, jump into the... Uh, uh, little uh, shoot there and then burn him. And I go, I see this happening because like it, it shows him look at this uh, this uh, thing, crematorium, and I'm like, dude, you're gonna burn the only evidence that clears your name from murdering all of these people in the building. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. You need him alive to show the aggression that it killed people. And what does he do? He sets the trap and <laughs> Shockma jumps into it and he closes the door and he sets it on fire and burns him. Yep. Shockma burns alive. Shockma burns alive and presumably Sam goes to jail for, you know, the rest of his life. <laughs> no. He dies. I didn't see that part. Oh yeah, he dies. What? Yeah, Sam dies. What? Sam dies. What? Yeah. Uh, he's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. He falls to the floor. I saw that. Says, I win. Closes his eyes and dies. Well, I mean, he might have just passed out. Yeah. Passed out from blood loss. And he's going to wait there until Monday. No oh. one knows he's there. What about the girlfriend? What? The worst, I mean, the best a girlfriend's going to do is come tomorrow. Yeah. And be like, what the hell? Well, that's the best. Yeah. Best case scenario. You're bleeding out for an extra, t like, eight hours. Minimum. Yeah. Minimum. Minimum. Everyone we saw in the film died except the black guy's girlfriend and the jock's girlfriend. Yeah. Everyone else dies. So if you're a girlfriend, you have 50% 50, 50 chance of living. Because there are two yeah. other girls in that movie. You know, one was a girlfriend, one was a aspiring girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> girlfriend in training. Girlfriend in training. But, no. Everyone dies. Wow. You know, that's a, that's a tough go. Shockma, the darkest film we've seen yet. One of the best films we've seen yet. Indeed. Uh, not the best, but definitely, in my eyes, third. All right. Out of what are two are first? Oh, number one is Death Wish. Okay. That's the best movie. Um, that trumps a lot of my favorite movies, even. Um, second, Toxic Shark. Toxic Shark was good. Toxic Shark was great. All right, dear listeners, until next time, see you out there.